you and your predecessor, Michal Martin, repeatedly told this House uh, that housing was the sig biggest single social, social issue facing the government. Um, in your first interview after you, you assumed the office of Taoiseach, you said we need to turn the corner on housing with a COVID-style response. You then clarified that what you meant by that was to adopt a can-do attitude. Uh, your can-do attitude appeared to evaporate in the Dáil yesterday when you flippantly dismissed concerns about the huge under-delivery of social homes last year. The target for delivery of new build social homes last year was 9,000. That was reduced quietly in November to 8,000. And in December, uh, the Department of Public Enterprise and Reform uh, warned that just 6,500 were likely to be de delivered, nearly 30% below uh, the your original, your original target. Even then, the majority of them were purchased by the private sector, or from the private sector. When this was raised with you yesterday, you offered no explanation, no apology for this gross failure by our government uh, to deliver on its own targets. You said, uh, we, have, uh, we have not built perhaps as many as we would have liked or as many as we intended. Taoiseach, what is the point in your housing targets? Can you explain that to me? Uh, judging by your comments yesterday, you don't seem really to care that the targets for social homes have been missed for three years in a row. The figures are even worse when it comes to affordable homes. Uh, you know, having delivered uh, zero social or affordable homes in the first two years uh, into this government, you're set to miss uh, last year's target by a whopping 80%. Fewer than 1,000 affordable homes will be delivered out of a modest target of 4,100. Perhaps this should not come as a surprise given that the department failed to spend a staggering 1 billion of its capital budget during the biggest housing crisis in the history of this state. You and your predecessor continually claim you're prioritising housing, but where is the evidence for that? It can't be found in, you, in your government repeatedly missing its own targets, the record number of people in homelessness, record rents, record house prices, the record number of adults in their 20s, 30s and even older who are living in childhood bedrooms and can't afford to move out. Taoiseach, People desperately need hope uh, that the housing disaster can be addressed. You claim it will be using some vague, vague can-do uh, attitude that has apparently been absent from this government so far. But your record is one of broken promises. Is it any wonder that a new poll in Virgin Media News has found a staggering 92% of young people are worried they'll never be able to uh, afford a home? Tisha, my questions are simple. What is the point in your modest housing targets when, you're, when you keep missing them? Um, why should anyone believe any of your commitments on housing? And do you really understand the magnitude of this, uh, of this problem? Thanks, Deputy Murphy. Um, thanks, Deputy. Of course, I understand the magnitude of the problem. I don't think anybody living in this country, uh, certainly nobody who runs for election or gets elected, could not understand uh, the magnitude of the housing crisis that, 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 uh, that we're facing. Uh, and it is the biggest uh, social issue that the government uh, and our country is currently grapple, grappling with. Um, and it affects people in all sorts of different ways, uh, whether it's people who can't afford to buy their first home, whether it's people who are paying um, massive rents, um, whether it's uh, people in their late 20s, late 30s, still living uh, in their childhood bedroom. Um, it affects people in so many different ways uh, and is holding us back as a country and holding us back as an economy and a society as well, in my view. And that's why we're determined as a government uh, to turn the corner uh, on the housing crisis as soon as we possibly can. And Housing for All is our plan to do that. Um, and it is a plan that is showing results. Um, our main housing target last year uh, will not just be met, it will be exceeded. Uh, we targeted the construction of 25,000 new homes last year. We don't have the numbers in yet, but it looks like it's going to be closer to 28,000. So that main housing target uh, was not only met, it was exceeded uh, last year. And of course, our target for this year is to build about 29,000 new homes. And I want that to be exceeded this year as well, by the way. And um, we're working really hard to make sure that the slowdown in commencements uh, doesn't result uh, in a slowdown uh, in completions. Um, you might not know this, Deputy, but 16,000 uh, people, couples, families bought their first home last year. Uh, that was the highest in 16 years. Um, I know that's cold comfort to people who can't buy a home yet, um, but the highest in 15 or 16 years is not a small thing. It's not a small thing to have achieved. 
uh, that's 16,000 people, over 1,000 young people, couples a month, uh, now buy their first home. Uh, and of course, we have new forms of public housing that are now becoming a reality, uh, like cost rental, for, for, uh, for example. In relation to the social housing target, uh, you're correct. Uh, we, we did miss the social housing target last year. Um, 6,500 uh, new social homes were provided. But what you didn't acknowledge, and I think you should have really, quite frankly, Deputy, to be fair, what you should have acknowledged uh, in your question is that that was still the highest number of new social homes provided in Ireland for a very long time. We actually don't know how long. Um, it might have been the highest since the foundation of the state. And I know people talk about, um, nostalgically, about the 1920s when the Free State built a lot of social housing, the 40s, the 50s, the 70s, the 80s. Um, we actually can't find on record a year in which more social housing, more new social housing, was provided by the government in its many forms than last year. And we're not happy with it either, Deputy. Um, we want it to be much higher this year, uh, closer to 9,000, 10,000, uh, and that's our objective. Taoiseach, um, uh, we've repeatedly said that there's an over-reliance on, on the private sector, um, that there has to be a scaling up of the public sector, a briefing note prepared for uh, the, the, uh, Pascal Donoghue in, in December, Minister Donoghue in December, uh, said the reliance on the private sector delivery is a vulnerability for 2023. Uh, when it comes to social homes, 2,706 new build social homes were delivered at the end of September. That was more than 70 per cent, and, and more than 70 per cent had been acquired by the private sector. That's what I'm repeatedly seeing, in, certainly in, in, in my area, that um, a housing estate is built and the council will go in and buy uh, a number of those, or even worse, long lease, uh, which is very poor value for money, um, and, um, and we had the underspend of a billion euro, uh, a billion euro last year uh, in relation to the capital budget. Uh, we're not seeing, um, we're certainly not seeing uh, the, uh, the, the scaling up of the direct build by the state that uh, has been talked about. Um, and indeed, um, you know, some of the things that have been said about the, you know, the state's uh, response have been fact-checked and by the, by the journal uh, in a, a, an article published over a, a couple of months uh, and, Time's in up, fact, Deputy. challenged a lot of, of what has been uh, what, what has been said in relation to the delivery numbers. Thanks. Um, thanks, Deputy. I, I, I don't accept the thesis that there's an over-reliance on the private sector over the public sector, because that implies that we should maybe of the same number of houses, but of more that are public and less that are private. Um, I have a different view. We need more public housing, and we need more private housing. We need more private housing for people who want to buy and own their first home, which I believe is a social objective that we should all get behind. And we need more public housing for people who can't afford to buy their own home. So it's not a case of more or less public or private. We need more <coughs> private, and we need more public. Uh, and, and, that, uh, and, and that is my view and the view of the government. Um, I don't accept the argument either that we're not scaling up uh, the delivery of public housing uh, by the state. And I think when people study that, they need to acknowledge that there is more to the state uh, than local authorities, than councils. Um, the LDA, for example, uh, about 4,000 homes now either under construction or in planning, uh, is a state body. Um, and the state funds approved housing bodies as well to provide social housing, like the Ivy Trust, like the Peter McFerry Trust, uh, like Clued, like all those bodies that, that we admire. And I think anyone who's talking about public housing and the state uh, who only looks at local authorities um, either is not fully knowledgeable or is being disingenuous because there's more to the state uh, than local authorities. Thank you very much.